Hello there piano girls and piano boys! Welcome to part 5 of my tutorial for Una Matina, the extended version by Ludovico Einaudi. There are no official notes for the extended version, so I'm using a transcription. If you haven't watched the tutorial for the first four parts of Una Matina, which has the official notes from Ludovico Einaudi, just click here on this link and it'll get you to the first four parts of this tutorial. So let's get started, let's see what we're gonna learn in this part. Okay, so what you play is pretty simple. You always play three notes in a row. The first note with your left hand, it starts with A, and with your right hand you play the remaining two notes. First, E, and E one octave higher. So it always sounds like this. Then your left hand stays on the A, your right hand thumb also stays on this E, the only thing that changes is the note you play up here and it goes from E to D to C and B. Alright? So you always play those rows of three notes. I'll play this once more for you. Now you only have to play it with the right speed and feeling, like this. Now for the next thing, your left hand will go down from A to F and your right hand will start on E and D instead of E and E. So it will sound like this. So you play those four notes. Now your left hand goes up one note from F to G. Your right hand still plays the same. And for the last thing, your left hand will go up one more note, so it comes back to A, and your right hand will play E, C, E, B, and then E and A twice, so like this. I'll play all of this once more. Now you play this intro for the extended version twice, but the second time you play it, you add one E with your right hand thumb before every chord. So like this. Of 
course you don't emphasize it as much as I just did. Okay, so now I'll play the whole intro for you once more slowly and then how it should sound like in the end. Okay, and now once more in normal speed. Alright, that was it for part 5. Here's a link to part 6. It'll come out next weekend. And meanwhile, just subscribe to my channel so you'll always see when the new videos come out. And also like my Facebook fan page so you'll get all the updates and news about my channel. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.